Hey guys, Danielle Summerfield from Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses here, and I've got supper time. There's Darcy, I mean Jarvis, this is Darcy, that's Jarvis, and he's eating his supper too. <laughs> he's making a mess, but he doesn't make half as much. I know you're just a big old messy guy, aren't you? <laughs> um, he is shedding something fierce. Oops, there goes my club. Look at this. Look at all that hair. Look at all the hair. All of this hair. Oh. And that's just a little bit. That's just a little bit. Um, so, yeah, the days are getting warmer. Um, if you can't tell with my hat. In my jacket. I got my winter jacket on. But um, they're getting warmer, so he's blowing his coat a little bit, which I think uh, means we missed the window to get him tested for Cushing's again. Um, not sure. What do you think? Did we miss it? Yeah? No? He rolled, apparently. <laughs> Did you miss it? No? Um, Mr. Jarvis over here. He's doing really good. I put out some alfalfa, and I was really surprised they came off the alfalfa to uh, to come down and have this food. But um, the vet is coming on Monday, and um, he's getting his teeth floated. So I'm going to see if I can ask Dr. Peacock if we can do a little video with it. I'll just put it up on a stand or something, because I don't know if she does power floating or if she just does the file. Um, I know Dr. Meeker... He used to do power floating, but um, he's so far away. It's just, it's so much trouble for him to come out here and it takes a really long time. And uh, my barn fees are really expensive. So um, he hasn't had his teeth done. Oh, this is so embarrassing for nearly two years. This will be two years and he's been quitting his food. And uh, for those of you who don't know what that means, come with me and I'll show you. So basically, he's got points on his teeth like when you have a horse and their teeth continue to grow just like um, just like a rodent I guess um, where they have to chew all the time to grind their teeth down um, horses they chew and their teeth continue to grow and they grow out creating these points um, I'll see what I can do about putting a, a picture in for some of them like right here So there's, that's what points look like. Um, and they get really sharp and sometimes they create ulcers in the mouth. Um, so quitting, it looks a little like that. Um, basically what it is, it's this chewed up piece of bubble gum and he just spits it out. Um, if he swallows this, it's gonna, um, he'll choke on it, but he ends up just chewing it a little bit and then spits it out. So that's what it looks like. It's kind of compact. It's usually like he's sucking on it and getting all the juice and then goes bleh. <laughs> and they're really hard. And this whole thing is like full of all of this. So he ate some of this bag and just spat some of this stuff out. So that is the number one uh, telltale that you really need to get your horse's teeth done. Um, is they they don't eat enough they end up losing weight because they're not eating properly and it's very painful uh, they could have ulcers in their cheeks like I said before um, and it's just it's bad and I am totally ashamed for not getting them done he was supposed to get them done last year but I kept on missing the appointment for one reason or another I don't remember but uh, Dr. Peacock from Davie County Large Animal Hospital is coming here so she's going to come here and do his teeth, and then he won't be quitting anymore. Yes, he's going to do your teeth. And that way he will be much more comfortable eating. I mean, it's not like he hasn't lost any weight because I've actually caught this sooner. Um, he's only been doing it for like a week. And only a week because I caught it, um, let's say, 
week and a half ago, I noticed one or two hanging around. I'm like, oh, that's weird. And I wasn't sure who did it. Um, I figured it would be him because he's like, he's 20 years old. Isn't he awesome? <laughs> um, and I thought it was going to be him, but it wasn't because I was standing there and all of a sudden this big guy decides to spit out a big old hunk of food. So, um, so it's been him. So I've been giving him a little bit more mash. Um, their mash consists of alfalfa, beet pulp, or alfalfa cubes, soaked alfalfa cubes, beet pulp, um, and soybean meal, and oil. Of course, soybean oil for the winter time. And he seems to be doing very, very good. He's still pretty fat. He's still fat. <laughs> you can see he's just bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> and he's happy. He's very happy. He still makes a mess. But um, he hasn't lost any weight. And actually, um, the little blankets that I've been putting on, like at night, when it gets to like 30 degrees, look at that butt. He's got a nice butt. He's got a nice percher on bum. <laughs> right, buddy? You got a nice percher on bum? Um, so he hasn't lost any weight, which is really good. So hopefully we're going to catch this soon enough. Now this guy, him, um, he's got Cushing's. And at least we think he does. And I'm not sure. I wanted to test him again. Because the first time we tested him was in August. If you go back on a couple of my videos, like two years ago, <laughs> um, we did a test on him. And his Cushing's test was like off the charts. Really crazy. They were so worried. They were going to put him on all sorts of medication. And I said, no, let me do some more research on this. Because I don't know. I think we can control it by diet. Which we have. Um, the guy has gained weight. He looks fantastic. He looks really, really good. Um, his hips are starting to fill out a little bit. He still needs a little bit of muscle tone and right here. He needs a little bit more muscle back here. Um, but as far as this part here, this was so sunken in when we first got him. It was sunken in like all the way down here. Um, so he has really, really gained some weight. Um, this is the side that gives him a lot of trouble like he spasms out. I think he has like a pinched nerve or something like that in his hip because um, I'll kind of like massage his hip and let's see if he'll do it. I don't know if he will, but sometimes when I massage his hip, he like just settles his whole hip down. I don't know if he'll do it because I'm here talking to you guys. No, not gonna do it. No, it feels a little better. It's very tight up here. So this muscle is very, very tight. No. Usually I'll give him like a little massage just like this. And this whole leg, he'll just like totally like. <laughs> and like he'll turn it all nice and he'll just kind of just relax that hip. But I think he's more interested in his food. But he looks really good. Um, he's looking really good. He's gained a lot of weight uh, as far as uh, a Cushing's horse. And... Um, they usually have a hard time gaining weight. But anyway, just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick little video, let you know what's going on. I have not done the hoof armor yet. I'm so sorry. It's just, this thing has been, it's been awful. Um, don't ever cut yourself or even accidentally cut yourself because it's just, and especially with the tendon, I mean, I can't do anything. I mean, zippers are awful, buttons are awful. Carrying the buckets is next to impossible. Um, hay, like I used to be able to pull off the hay strings. I can't, can't do that anymore. Can't shake out the hay. Because I can do it with one arm. The arm that's holding the camera is turning into Popeye. Because I have to do everything with my right hand. And I am I can write right-handed, but I'm ambidextrous with everything else. And most of it is done with my left hand. And so, yeah, it's it's been tough. Um, so, I've got a... We're working on it. <laughs> but these guys are doing good. They're, uh, they're gaining weight. They're keeping their weight on through the winter, which is really good. They're going to get blankets on again tonight because it's going to be about 32 degrees. So um, I'm just going to keep with what I've been doing, especially with him, because I can't, he can't lose any weight. He can't gain a lot more because of his ring bone and his front legs, but um, I can't get him to lose any more weight. He's got to gain some more. So... He's looking good. He's wandering around. He um he's not foundering, so that's good. And uh, then again, it's just January. 
February hasn't started yet. But anyway, that's what's going on. Nothing, absolutely nothing, which is why I haven't put a video. It's been rather boring. It's been slow, nothing's happened. Husband just harrowed the field. It's been day in and day out, breakfast and dinner, and then bring out some alfalfa for these guys. And that's it. No hunting, no trapping, no building of anything, no teaching, because I can't have them accidentally bumping or tearing or, you know, getting out of a halter or whatever, lead rope or whatever. I can't have anything going on with this because it'll damage it and then I'll really never be able to use it. So that's it. All right. Well, hopefully you guys have a great day and uh, there's... Yes, you're just a handsome, aren't you? Yeah. Have a great day. We'll see you later from Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses.